This is Congressman Bill Cassidy, and as you know, last Thursday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi introduced a 2,000-page, $1 trillion health care bill to remake our health care system. She hopes to pass it on Saturday, which when you see this will be today. We're doing these video blogs daily to discuss one aspect of the plan and contrast it with, with Republican alternatives that I think are more cost-effective and uh, better for the patient. Now, today, we're going to discuss cost. There are three goals of health care reform. One is to provide quality care to make sure that everyone has access to it, but lastly, to control cost. Because if you don't control cost, you cannot guarantee the first two. I've worked at Earl Long Hospital for the last 20 years, and the dedicated med techs, therapists, physicians, nurses, administrators have all at times been done in by the cost of medicine. When the state has a cost overrun, the state cuts the budget. And for that reason, the physical facility has deteriorated over the years, as well as the ability to deliver care despite the dedicated employees. Well, we've come to that situation now. Does this plan control cost? As it turns out, it does not. The Congressional Budget Office, the independent arm of Congress, estimates that this plan will increase, have a rate of inflation of 8% per year that more than doubles cost. Now, when we say double cost, that means that you, the taxpayer, will be paying twice as much 10 years from now as you do now. At a minimum, reform should not cost more than the status quo. H.R. 3400, as well as the Republican alternative, both provide access to quality care while controlling cost. We can do better. We all want reform, but we want reform that works. Thank you.